So today we're going to be cooking up some ribs in the oven. Because we don't have a barbecue, this is a perfect way to enjoy some nice delicious ribs that just come off the bone and are so succulent you'll want more and more and more. So I'll tell you the ingredients. <laughs> The ingredients are one slab of ribs, we chose the pre-marinated one, you can choose to marinate them yourself but we just like it like this, it's much easier and it takes a bit less time and preparation, but it's all up to you of course. Two tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of ketchup manis, one teaspoon of sweet sour sauce, basil, oregano, cayenne pepper and thyme, a squeeze of lemon juice and a squeeze of sriracha. All right, now take a baking tray and cover it with baking paper and just put your spare ribs meat side down on your baking tray. Now take some aluminum foil and cover your spare ribs up. Put your spare ribs in the oven for about 4 hours. I know it's long but it's totally worth it and it's not like you're making this every day. It's something special like in the weekend when you have a lot of time on your hands. And even though it takes 4 hours to prepare, you don't have to do anything about it. You just put it in the oven and go study or do something what you like to do. Anyway, put it in the oven at 110 degrees Celsius. While the ribs are in the oven, you can prepare the sauce. <clears throat> We're just going to throw all the ingredients together. We'll start off with the two tablespoons of ketchup. One tablespoon of ketchup manis. One teaspoon of sweet sour sauce. Of cayenne pepper. Thyme. Oregano. Basil. A squeeze of sriracha sauce. And finally, a squeeze of lime juice. Now just mix it all together. And there we go, a nice little sauce. <clears throat> now just set it aside and we'll use it when the ribs are done. Four hours later. So, four hours later, it's time to put on the sauce. First of all, we're going to flip the ribs. Be careful now, because they have been four hours in the oven, they're quite tender and it's possible that they are going to fall apart if you manhandle them. <laughs> so just flip them over, nice and gentle. And now just cover them all with the sauce we made earlier. Can be quite a thick layer, just make sure it is all covered. All right, it looks good. Mm, it smells good. And finally put your oven at 180 degrees Celsius and bake your ribs for another 15 to 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes they are ready. It's time to cut them up and taste them. 